and Shalom. I like to give all praise and all honors to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bashem, Rakakradash. A double honor to the apostles and elders of the great millstone that taught us his truth, peace, and salutations to the whole flex. Shalom. Welcome to the whole flex. And welcome to today's uh, video. This is not going to be a long video. I just wanted to do a little something. Uh, today, uh, I was going to do something earlier after I uh, uh, just got back from doing my runs, but um, um, you know, I fell asleep. So, uh, anyway, I'm doing it now, okay? And uh, so, so it's not going to be that long. Uh, this, this is concerning what many of his brothers is going through. Okay, uh, 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 you brother that's actually able to make it to the camps and stuff regularly, you know, like you should, a great, wonderful uh, Tawada for your wonderful inspiration that you are giving us brothers like me that are afflicted. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm afflicted with low vision blindness, you know, and I went out today uh, uh, escorted, of course, and uh, my eyes would eat, my eyes were even worse. No, you could you know already know one side is is a completely dark, you know one side of my eyes is completely dark and the other side, it's like I got about I say about uh, let's say I got about this much vision and it's not clear vision, it's clouded, you know clouded like you know damn. My battery on here. Yeah, so it's 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 clouded, and uh, and and then being out in that sun, and I had on some uh, my dark sunglasses broke. Yahweh by Shimmy Shine. And then so my uh, other sunglasses are the brighter ones, and they would just illuminate my eyes, and they were shielding some of the sun, and they got that UV stuff, but still it was just tripping my eyes out. But uh, but again, I'm a, a brother that's afflicted, but still in my comings and goings, I still uh, 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 project y'all by Shimmy Shine. I didn't uh, uh, do so today, and I was out and about, and see those times make you feel bad, you know. So just like the, for you, you guys just make it out to the camps, y'all. Y'all feel bad when y'all not able to make it to the camp or when y'all, you know, whatever. But, you know, there this is a battle. It's not just our the physical body that we're fighting. It's the spiritual. Okay, remember that. It's spiritual. The different thing, you might catch a flat on your way down to the camp or, or your car stopped working or you lose your bus card or or you, 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 your demon, your girl, she tripping on you and stuff. Or the kids. The kids tripping on you. You know, they telling you, you know, uh, daddy, uh, what you say? You know, they talking all, all outside of their neck. You know, it's a battle, a spiritual battle. But but as Yahweh Shai said this, Jeremiah chapter 51, verse 20. Thou art my, this is what Yahweh Shai said, concerning Yahweh. Thou art my battle axe and weapons of war. That's what we are. And in this fight, this war that we're in right now, we're going to be hit with all different ty types of things. Uh, Sirach chapter 2, verse 1, my son, when you come to the, the Lord, prepare thyself for temptation. All kinds of things come at us, all kinds of temptations, all kinds of uh, spiritual fights, all kinds of different things that's in other people that's being used against us. A system that's used against us, the air is used against us, the water is used against us, the food is used against us, everything at different frequencies, uh, different and hurts and stuff is being used, all that's being used, did you know and that every night at 9 o'clock at night, the U.S. government releases all over America across the skies microwaves from the microwave tiles that they have from 9 o'clock at night all the way to 11 o'clock the next day. So that way when you wake up in the morning, you're tired. All your energy is zapped. And then as you try to push through your morning, all your energy is zapped. We're in a war. We're in a war. Okay. For with thee will I break in pieces the nations. Okay. And we're doing so with this word. Okay. We're doing so with this word. This word is the thing that allows us to be able to hew down the enemy. Okay. Cut him down. Okay. And hit back. Okay, with spiritual power, because we can't do it with physical power. There's no way that we can do it physically. You see, and those of you that want to take up arms and think things you're gonna fight against, and you can, you, you, man, come on, 
You can't fight against no goddamn body with no goddamn gun. The fuck? Shit. And with thee, will I destroy kingdoms. You see? Yahweh and Yahweh is going to use us to destroy kingdoms. Daniel chapter seven, verse eighteen. Uh, 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 the, the saint, uh, the, the, the saint, uh, 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 shall take back the kingdom of Salaka for for botching it. You know, we shall take back the kingdom. You know, and and and, and possess the kingdom. You know, forever and ever. Okay, these are the things that, that we're going to do with that spiritual power that we're going to receive uh, uh, when the, the enemy comes in like a flood. Uh, uh, Isaiah chapter 59, verse 19. You see, you know, the Yahusha is going to lift us up as a standard, lift it up against the enemy. You see, so when that time comes, even though we may seem weak now physically because we battle it. And these different things that we're battling, they're battling against us. But the time will come when Yahweh shall, shall bring forth when he come, when his, his great power, just before he come. He's going to make sure that some of us receive our spiritual powers because when the martial law, when that declares, you know, after whatever a terrorist attack and then before that, uh, or whatever little um, 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 uh, parasitical, um, um, you got to watch your words, um, chemically induced, um, um, uh, biological agents that they may use against us. Okay. This will also trigger off other different things that will lead to certain things that was going to lead to martial law. Then, then from that, it's going to be the draft, okay? And then, so, you know, all the different things that's going to ensue with, ensue with that. You know, they're going to have the different drones, the different, you know, martial law police, you know, and the different uh, 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 protocols, no vehicles allowed on the street. All these different things are going to be happening. It's going to be Jacob's troubles, and, and many brothers have had dreams about the different things that they're going to go off into, okay? And, yes, yes, it's going to be times when the time for the chip. When it's time for the sea hip, when you know it's going to be where you know this one brother had a dream where uh, uh, he was going through the, uh, the city to deal with Jacob troubles, and he was hiding out and he was ducking down. He was, he, he was looking through some bushes and seeing where the, the, this drone came up on this uh, guy that didn't have the drone scanned the guy and he didn't have a chip. Okay, and when he didn't have a chip, the, the drone alerted the ro robotic dogs and the uh, uh, robotic uh, uh, soldiers, and they came a running, and they came up on the guy. Okay, no matter where he ran, that drone followed him, and they came up on him. And then when they came up on him, he was given the opportunity to make a choice, make a decision, what you want. Okay, either to see him or beheaded. They had a head be beheaded machine right there on the spot. And so, you know, he chose that, that guy uh, that he was watching, okay? That that guy did not choose to see him. And so they hooked this thing around the guy's neck, okay? And then, shoot, chopped his head off. And his head dropped. And his body dropped. And that was it. So it's going to be situation, a situation like that. It's not going to be where you get tricked about that. Okay, it's a battle we in. It's a war. Are you ready? Girth thyself up. Are you? Is your loins loins girded up? You see, what are you doing? You see, and so you know we got to maintain one thing. This word deep within us is our strength. This is what we got. We ain't got nothing else. Yahweh is gonna bust up all of the camps. So for you brothers, that that's yeah, you're good. That you got good strength and, and good unity with your brothers down in the camp. But the camps, all the camps are gonna be busted up, including GMS. And why? Because Yahweh wants to see what each man is made of. Are you a precious gem, a precious stone? What are you? What are you made of? What do you, what do you got? What do you bring to the table? Okay, what what talent have you possessed and have you gained? Okay, or are you a slothful servant and slow belly? What are you? Your Yahweh wants to know. You so so every man is going to be tested. They're going to find out. Okay, we going to find out what you got. Okay, daily daily edification on uh, uh, Apostle Gabar is on. So I'm going to hurry uh, hurry this up. I don't want to miss that. Okay, so Isaiah chapter ten verse five. Uh 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 uh, uh oh. Assyrian, the rod of mine anger, you see, and you see, the rod of mine anger, with the rod of the Lord's anger, and the staff in thy, in their hand is mine indignation, you see, the staff, you see, the staff, we too shall be, be, uh, uh, possess a staff, or 
As Yahweh shall told us, Luke chapter 22, verse 36 through 38. He said, buy yourself a sword. Sell your cloak if you have to, but buy yourself a sword. This is the, there was a reason why he said, and y'all watch the other videos, y'all seen, y'all know my point on that. You know, this year concludes that, you know, uh, and the staff in their hand is my indignation. We're not taking up any swords to fight against Esau, yes, Edom, no. Simon Peter popped Malchus. Simon Peter popped Malchus. Malchus was a two-third, okay? And so them two-thirds with your staff, okay, with your staff in your hand, okay, that is Yahweh's indignation, okay, that he's going to have you to use, okay, against the two-thirds, against those Malchuses. Uh, some of the brothers inside the council have been having dreams where they've had uh, times when they've gone through Jacob's troubles and they found themselves where in their dream they had a, a, a pistol in one hand and a rifle in the other popping off at who? Uh, those two-thirds. Not at, not at the Pharisees. Okay, not at the uh, martial law police, not at the Roman guards, but at the goddamn Malchus, it's the goddamn two thirds. Okay, so that's what that's about. No, I'm not going off. I'm just in, into understanding what that scripture is talking about according to the times. Because if you realize, if you go back to that scripture, you see where it says, but now I say unto you. Okay, we're coming up on that time where it's but now. And then they were going off into martial law. That's the time you ought to buy yourself a sword. Not right now. Right now, we're, we're still in Jeremiah chapter 16, verse 16. We're fishers of men right now. Okay. But when Amos chapter 8, verse 11 come, that's when it's Luke chapter 12, verse uh, 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 Luke chapter 22, uh, verse, 30, verse 36 through 38. And Luke chapter 12, verse 49. <laughs> In verse 50, you see, but what would I if it already be kindled? You see, you see, so, so that's what they're talking about. <laughs> this is uh, Isaiah chapter 10, verse 15. We'll close this out. The daily uh, uh, edification is up. Uh, Isaiah chapter 10, verse 15. It shall the axe boast itself against him and that newest therewith, or shall the saw magnify itself against him? That shaketh it as if the rod should shake itself against them that lift it up, or as if the staff should lift up itself. You see, no, the staff ain't gonna lift itself up. You gotta lift that staff up. You see, you gotta lift that staff up as if it were no wood. You see. If as if it were no wood, you know, I don't want to make this too long because I do want to uh, check out the uh, the uh, daily edification that uh, Apostle Gabar is uh, doing right now. So I just want to make this a quick little video right quick, just to uh, get a quick little understanding. We are the battle axis of who? Yahweh Bashem Yahusha. You understand? So, Lord's willing, uh, uh, you were uh, uh, received something out of the uh, 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 video. If not, then I pray that you were provoked to uh, uh, to thought to do better. And, and, uh, and to pr pr remember, as always, we are to provide good grazing uh, uh, practice for the sheep to uh, graze. You see, uh, sheep feed the sheep, okay? And so, uh, 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 brothers and sisters, uh, uh, stay strong. You know, we ain't got long. Stay focused. Remember, the enemy is going to keep coming at you in spiritual ways and physical ways. You see, and you got to maintain the understanding and recognizing and realizing and discerning between spirits and realizing the different people around you and the spirits that they bring about. You know, you know, one day uh, we, we, we went and, and, and uh, 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 for me to, uh, to uh, run some errands and the wrong type of people were there and the spirit was whole completely different. It was a foul spirit and we were had issues. The, uh, this time today, uh, it was a different set of people there and it was a different spirit. OK, then so everything went well for us. OK, if the people around you remember, they are the ones that produce those different types of spirits that's working through, you know, to try to get at you. Always stay strong in the word and keep your faith up. Always go out with your shield. Always maintain heaven. All that you are uh, need to have your full brigade. You'll be ready to be circumspect, spiritually circumspect and physically circumspect. So that way you watching the scene and being aware. Remember, he who is prudent is aware. Look, do look as well through his goings. Do you understand me? So that's what it, that's the way it is. That's the way the things are to be. Make sure you are up on what's going on.
Okay, so this is your Hebrews, like brother Masaba. Masaba means to repent. Okay, and so we like to give all praise and all honors to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakordash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of the great millstone that taught us the true peace. And salutations to the hopeful elect. Shalom to the hopeful elect. Stay up. <laughs>